this is the city. One of the biggest in the United States. Spreads out in all four directions like a broad loom rug. To the south and west, it's the downtown business district. To the east, the industrial area. Los Angeles, California. It's pretty much like your town. This is a Spanish priest, one of the city's founders. It's changed a lot since then. It's got high tension wires bringing in the power and bus lines to get you where you're going. It's got railroads and freight yards. Churches. Any kind you want. Public parks and lakes. It's got a police department and a city hall. This is where I work. I'm a cop. It was Saturday, August 8th. We were working the day watch out of juvenile division. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Powers. My name's Friday. We'd gotten a call from a worried mother who reported her four-year-old twin girls missing. Hours had passed since we'd gotten the initial report. The children had failed to turn up. We had to find them. I told you all that on the phone. Have you found them yet? We've checked out the names that you gave us, Ms. Carston. Everyone who knows your little girls, the kids they play with, the neighbors, the storekeepers in the area. We haven't any word yet, but we're still checking. Oh, no, dear God. Somebody's got to have seen them. Tilly and Joan couldn't have wandered off that far. They're only four years old. I don't think it's as bad as it might seem to you, ma'am. Children have been missing a lot longer than your two little girls, and they've turned up all right. Try to relax if you can, Miss Carsten. Well, why hasn't somebody seen them? They wandered off from us in the park, but it's only three blocks from the house. Why hasn't somebody seen them? It's dark out. God knows what could happen to them at night. Is there anything we can get for you, Miss Carson? No. No, I'll be all right. Did you see my husband? Yes, ma'am, we did. He's over at the park with the other officers. I think it's just a matter of time, ma'am. We've got three teams of men working on it with us. We've gotten out a broadcast on your girls. Did you talk to the Stanleys down the street and the Petersons? Yes, we did. We checked out all the names that you gave us. There is one thing we want to ask you about. What's that, Sergeant? About the exact spot in the park where you had your picnic this afternoon, where the girls wandered off. Well, it's exactly where I pointed it out to the other officers. By the eucalyptus grove, right off 7th Avenue. It's just about 2.30 this afternoon. We finished lunch. My husband was taking a nap. I was reading. I saw the girls playing tag over by the trees. I looked up in a few minutes, and they were gone. It's just like I told the other officers. Then you're sure about that location? Well, of course I'm sure. Why should I lie to you? I want you to find the girls. They're just babies. You can see there's a picture over there. Only four years old. Yes, ma'am, we're doing everything we can. I know, I know. You want me to get that for you, Miss Carston? Would you please? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Lois. Anything? No, nothing. You? One step last time? Yeah, sure. Excuse me. Ralph and I checked with the guy who runs an ice cream wagon. He works the area in the park where the kids disappeared. You know, what did he tell you? He saw a couple little girls about a half a mile from that eucalyptus grove about 3 o'clock this afternoon. They were with a man. Who? Yeah. He saw the man put the kids in the truck and drove away with them. 8 p.m. Together with John Lewis, Frank and I left the Karsten home. We didn't tell the mother about the latest report. Until it was positively confirmed, we felt that telling her would serve no purpose other than to cause her needless worry. We drove over to the park to talk with the ice cream vendor, a Mr. George Comanches. He pointed out the area where he'd spotted the children in the company of an unidentified man. It was right over there, officers. This big guy, a mustache. He had the little girls, one on each hand. He was walking them out of that clump of trees over there. You think you can describe the man for us, Mr. Comanches? Well, I didn't look that close. I thought he was the father. The kids were sniffling, you know, maybe like they'd been crying. Better check the ground over by those trees, huh, Lewis? Yeah. Stan, Ralph. 
Didn't you notice anything at all about this man, Mr. Comanches? I mean, except his mustache? Well, a big man, big shoulders, work shoes, tan shirt, tan pants. How about the color of his hair? Some kind of distinguishing marks, maybe? No, I don't know. I thought he was the father. The kids were sniffling, the little girl. Was anything wrong? It didn't look like it. How about the man's truck? Did you notice that? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. How about the license number? You notice that? No, sir. Maybe I should have. 